It's been a hell of a long time since I've done the NES update, so let's do that. I've actually collected enough NES games where it's become relevant to do one. Uh, first, just the controllers I got. I got another zapper. Zappers are awesome. Bang, bang. Um, one thing I noticed on this, I haven't seen on a lot of zappers, is it actually has yellow wing. You see that yellow? It's crazy. It's, it's good on this side. But this side, it's all yellow and crap. Uh, it was $2. Or no, it's $1.91. Bam. I thought, man, I can't be that. I've seen them for like as high as five before. So when they're like around three or 191, stuff like that, you know, three and under, I grab them. I just grab them. I gotta test them all sometime. I gotta get up a, you know, get a tube TV ready, put in a good uh, shooting game, maybe gumshoe, and uh, test them all out. I also got this, uh, this uh, pilot, like, perfect, you know, for. Top Gun or Stealth. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Suction cups. So for the, I actually got a blue one. I don't know where it is. So I got this one, and it was pretty cheap. I, I think it was another, like it was like two o two or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's the controllers, and now the games. The great thing about these games is you know they're all a dollar. They were all ninety nine cents. I actually got, I got them from the same place actually, but one time I got two games there and the next time I got like a whole bunch and uh, it was that Goodwill I've shown the ground, grand opening of and the weirdest thing is like when they first opened they charged, was it three ninety two for a game and then all these are 99 cents, it doesn't make sense but I grabbed them, some of them do have some, uh, sorry, some of them do have some yellowing like uh, the, the zapper there so probably the same owner I don't know left them out in the sun or what and a lot of these I already have I just couldn't resist at that price uh, I leave the one I don't really have as last uh, iron sword there's Fabio looking at you beautiful man beautiful so yeah iron sword it's a sequel of uh, wizard and warriors Friday the 13th, crap tackler game. It has someone wrote Jones up there. So Jones, thank you for the shitty game. You're welcome. I took it off. I took it off of you for you. Okay, I'm helping you out, kid. Metal Gear. Wow. Humble beginnings, my friend. Humble beginnings. Wizard Warriors. There's the original. No Fabio on that. Some kind of beautiful Indian man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do those have yellow wing? Like, let's uh, see. I'll show you the yellow wing on the Fabio one. It's like, uh, like, ugh. Really? For that NES card? How'd you manage to do that? Seen them on systems and stuff, but not the cart. Vaxanadu! Gotta play that sometime. I keep on getting it mixed up with what's that other one? Star Tropics, because I played Star Tropics. Have not played Vaxanadu. I like the little tagline actually. It's uh, Daggers and Wing Boots, Mantras and Monsters Await You. Ah! Operation Wolf. It seems like there's a theme here of like fantasy and uh, you know army like shooting games. Oh, just me. Uh, you'll see more of it like deadly towers. Yeah. Tetris and it has a chip in it. I may open it to get that out, but I got Tetris again. Jeez. And these games were on a separate visit. Spy Hunter, which I did not have, and Hoops, which has like a weird, some of the worst logo art ever. It's just, it's just like a 90s picture of a man getting dunked on by a black man who's jumping really high, but the hoop isn't real. It's like the logo. You know, it's crazy. It's just like, okay. Hoops, everyone. <laughs> 
And uh, the last one I got, I think it's the best game of the bunch, which isn't saying much, but it's from Capcom. Destiny of an Emperor. It's like it's like an RPG, which you know Capcom isn't really known for, but it looked interesting. I saw some game footage of it. So yeah, um, all together, all that I showed you about 17 bucks, roughly. So hell of a deal. I, I mean that's real good. I can't believe I got you know each game for uh, a buck like that. It's just you'd think someone would come in and just hike those prices up, but they did not. So yeah, that's what I got for you. Some good additions there, some more sequels, some more doubles. You know, whenever I could get doubles, I could get doubles. You know, I trade them in for games I don't have. So, you know, it's just, it's all about, a lot of people who want to trade, who you want to get NES game from, want to be traded NES games in return. And I understand that. And that's where doubles help, because then you could trade them the NES games they want and get the ones you need and blah, blah, blah. Networking. Yeah? So... That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Good deal, I think. I think it's a good, damn good deal. Nothing really rare or spectacular in there, but it's a good, good price for some good games. I'll leave you at your best.